We're going to look at adolescent nutrition. So adolescent nutrition is where we see, we look at the, how you guys who are in the adolescent stage, the food that you're supposed to eat. So me, uh, as a, on behalf of Saita Foundation, I'm here to give you the counseling on nutrition and adolescent. So adolescent change, adolescent change of what you so, kukula, you, you need to eat different kinds of food. So, if you have a you 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 So, if you have nutrients, you can't get a If you have a you you can't you have a you can't get a you you can't get a you so if you have quite a nutrients, you can So if you what do you need for it to grow? When you are growing physically, you Then chimbi, you can you the productive system is growing. If in the mind you you need food. That's what you cognitive development. So um, <coughs> So if you have energy giving food, we have examples of rice, we have sorghum, we have millet, we have shima, we have also sorghum, millet, and cassava. So sweet potato. So all those. They can give you energy if you are eating them. Then we have another group of food which gives you protein. Protein, they make the body to grow. So food that are found in, in proteins, groups of proteins, we have fish, caterpillars. Then we have common. So if is a source of protein, we have even insua. It's a source of protein. We have a religion called When we have chicken, chicken, uh, fish, and egg, these are sources of protein where you can get protein for you to remember. Protein they repair, they repair the body tissues. Then we have even 